eBay is where I found this Lionel shell. And believe me or not, despite the appearance, it has a lot more going for it than just the low price. It's worn, but undamaged, and it also has most of its original trim parts, which can add up quickly if they're missing. Paint, however, can be touched up or redone entirely. After some wet sanding, I could begin the process of improving this train's appearance. So now that the shell is looking pretty decent again, I needed to borrow a base from another F3. And these seem fine together, but a Lionel Santa Fe locomotive really should ride on top of a silver frame. Don't you think?
This base is meant for the newer F3 shells, but the placement of holes for the older shells can still be seen. So a little drilling, first with a small bit as a pilot hole, and then a larger bit will allow space for the rear mounting screws needed with these first generation F3 shells. The front apron is not easily removed from the truck assembly, so I'll need to paint it while they're still together. Careful masking though should prevent any silver overspray from getting onto the wheels, axles, or side frames. washer and then a spring that needs to be compressed with one hand while trying to push on a c-clip to hold it all in place took a few tries. I won't show the entire process including the time spent on the carpet looking for the spring when the whole thing shot off. That's 40 minutes of my life that I won't get back but it's finally all back together. solder this connection, cover it with some heat shrink insulation instead of electrical tape, and then I'm pretty much done. Repainting a frame like this is a pretty quick and easy way to renew your train's appearance. This whole project took less than two days, and most of that time was actually just spent waiting for the paint to dry, so it can go pretty quickly.
Over the last seven decades, Lionel has produced many variations of an F3 decorated in Santa Fe's war bonnet paint scheme, and I'm pretty sure that I've seen at least one or two with black side frames on their truck assemblies, so I left mine black too. The frame and the apron at the front are silver, but this is a little bit different than what you would normally see, and I think I'm going to like it. If you collect toy trains by Lionel, Williams, or MTH, if you like matchbox cars and trucks, or 143rd scale die-cast vehicles, and you enjoy seeing them modified or rejuvenated, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Bob's Workshop. Take care.